Tack så mycket. Jag, jag börjar med svenska men sen fortsätter på engelska för då blir det riktigt och också snabb, lite snabbare. Men får jag presentera Sanna Selinheimo. Hon är psykolog. Jag är läkare, neurolog och vi kommer från Arbetshälsoinstitutet från Helsingfors. Och vi är inte ännu med i tema men vi skulle vilja vara med. Det är så, det, det är så bra arbete man gör här. Och, och ja, ja, vi berättar om vårt studie, som vad vi har gjort och sen äh, vad vi ska göra. Vi har inte ännu, vi, vi har just börjat med det, med, med, vi, vi berättar lite om äh, vad som händer. Okej, okay. vi har uh, we have uh, with us professor of psychiatry Tina Paunio. Two, uh, two uh, specialists in occupational medicine, Kirsi Karvala and Aki Vuokko, Krister Hublin, a neurologist, and then Hille Suojelet, the pulmonologist, and another psychologist. And we are going directly, we don't understand the mechanisms very well, but we go directly to intervention. So, uh, quickly, the... the uh, content of the, the, the presentation. We tell you about the study design, the subjects and the idea of the mechanisms and challenges. There are some challenges with this patient group, please. So uh, this is a very complicated picture, but we think that everybody is right. The patients are right, all, all, all different viewpoints are right, but we actually try to concentrate on the how, because there is um, uh, something that happens in thinking and reactions in the brain. Of course, the neurologists and psychologists want to uh, uh, think of this uh, explanation, and we try to uh, reduce the adverse effect that people have in, in their symptoms. And Please continue. And we have this setup that in our in Finland we have this system that you can have an occupational disease from indoor air uh, asthma or asthma re related symptoms. And we have had for tens of years we have had patients coming to our institute, and we we study them very carefully clinically, and some, a small proportion of them will get an occupational asthma. So something asthma that has been, is, is, has been uh, thought or has been proved that it's related to indoor, bad indoor air, and mainly mold or water damaged buildings. But we also saw during the build, uh, the, to the times that these people, they, they have a lot of other symptomatology than just asthma. And then we, we, we thought that now we start to intervene these other symptoms, these chronic symptomatology that these patients have. And we tried this very light intervention protocol. So we took the asthma uh, patients or the um, respiratory symptom patients that were from water damaged workplaces that came to our institute and we divided them in two groups and then we either were just studying their asthma and relation to the, the workplace or did that and then did a psychoeducation interventions, very small and two meetings with a psychologist. And this showed to be not enough therapy because with these two groups did not differ in outcome. They had still had their symptomatology and we could not uh, help these people. But then we continue further and design the current study. And what we want to do, we want to catch the workers that had the chronic symptomatology. And, and we know now that they, this symptomatology, it, it stays even though that the whole building is repaired. They have it a chron chronic, chronic state and we want to uh, now intervene these patients and make them work, work able again because many of them for the inclusion to this study is that they have reduced workability.